Okay. One liner, man seeking redemption, woman seeking revenge. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> Outlaws and Angels is a it's a it's a 35 millimeter homage to the old westerns um, and the old European films of the 60s and 70s. It's got a fresh new twist. It's a uh, ultra violent home invasion thriller set in the old west with a feminist twist. I was obsessed with my character, so that was the first thing. Is I knew immediately that I wanted to play this part, and I fell in love with this character's transformation and growth. And I think JT just wrote it so it jumped off the page. We're there to fulfill the vision of the film, to support the film, to make the story work. But JT did a fantastic job dealing with a significant size ensemble cast. And I gotta point out that Chad did a fantastic, amazing job as number one on the call sheet. He brought it every single day. He's there all day, every day, off camera, leading the ensemble through. And Francesca's a movie star mm -hmm. and is exceedingly talented. And so, you know, when you showed up at work, we had an unusual experience, the kind of experience you don't often find if you work for a long time in the business. So, and it's you know, a rare privilege as an actor to be in something that you go, wow, I'm so glad I'm a part of that in, yeah. every, in every way. Wow. Did any of you have to learn any new skills to pull off your parts? <laughs> I asked this guy if he knew how to ride a horse before I hired him, and he wrote me back and he said, I'm from Kansas. I'm from Kansas. <laughs> That's all I said, so we were actually out, and he said, you know, if we're three days away to, from riding a horse, are you ready to go? And I said, um, I've never been on a horse before. He said, you said you were on a horse before. I said, I promise you I didn't. Check your text. And he was sitting there, and he scrolled back through, and he goes, I can't believe you did that. I just wrote, I'm from Kansas. I, I, I was excited for the one had nothing to do with the other. I, I, I was excited for the job. I wasn't losing over minor details. Wait, can you believe we got Francis Fisher in this movie, by the way? And I came in at the last minute because I wanted to come see Francesca work anyway. And then when JT called me up and offered me, and I went, God, I can fly out there for free and I get to her, see I Frank. Beg. Yeah. I called her and begged. I'm so lucky I had my mom there to... It, it was beautiful to watch. To I got to see it, and I had never seen a moment between a mother and a daughter like that, um. where a mom comes in and they have these beautiful words, and I'll be, <laughs> we'll hug it later, we'll hug it later. And, and no, honestly, it, especially for, you know, one generation to the next generation, and, and, and someone that, that's so acclaimed as Francis, and, and we all look up to and respect, and then to see them have that relationship, and they can talk about the business, and about the craft, and about the art, on a level where it's mother-daughter, but at the same time, it's, you're talking shop. Right, colleagues. I'd never seen it. Yeah. It was incredible. We all really love each other. <laughs> hey everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from The Hollywood Reporter.